Greetings to you in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let us sing the song as it is screened. morning i would like to turn your attention to a particular story in bible it is about a man named gideon one day the angel of the lord appeared before him and said the lord is with you you mighty man of valor and gideon said oh my lord if the lord is with me why this all has happened to us where are all his miracles which our fathers told us saying did not the lord bring us from egypt but now the lord has forsaken us and delivered us to the midianites the lord turned to him and said you shall save israel from the midianites have i not sent you and gideon said how shall i save israel my clan is of the weakest and i'm least in my father's house and the lord said surely i will be with you and you shall defeat the midianites as one man even after the lord assuring gideon he asked for a sign to believe that it is the lord who spoke to him to give a little bit of background to the story because of sin the israelites were delivered to the midianites by god whenever the israelites saw something their harvest was carried away by the midianites the israelites were greatly impoverished but gideon was blessed with food he was threshing wheat in the wine press but yet he says the lord has forsaken him when god calls him the mighty man of valor he calls him the weakest when god calls him for a greater cause he remains in his past condition and it distorts the image of god he was not able to recognize god nor was he able to recognize his own self 
The name Gideon means a great warrior, but he forgot this identity and calls him the weakest. This distortion made him to question God, disbelieve God's word. And when also we see that his identity is tied to his nationality. When it was captured by the Midianites, he felt that he has lost everything and the God has forsaken him. His identity was tied to his clan. Just because it is least, he believed that he's the weakest. Instead of aligning his identity in the Lord who created him, who set his love on him, who chose him, who blessed him and redeemed him. Are we like Gideon? We are tying our identity to something that is very fleeting. When someone asks us, who are you? We usually say that I'm a graduate or pursuing masters, uh, working in a multinational company, so and so. But when that is snatched from us, we get upset. When someone loses their job, or if a topper who's unable to achieve his target, they get devastated, they get into depression, they even commit suicide because their identity is aligned with it. So when that is lost, they feel that they are nothing. But when we have faith in the Lord and we set our identity in Him, we realize that we are called to be more than conquerors. Remember that God has already conquered everything. He predestined His love on us. We are fearfully and wonderfully made. The enemy tries to distort this image. He calls us useless. He calls us by our failures. Remember, God designed us and we are not a mistake. When Gideon realized this, he became a champion. In the book of Hebrews, we see that he was called a man of faith. God gave his only son just to redeem us. What else he wouldn't give for us? Just remember that he who is in you is greater than your problems, your failures, anything and everything in this world. Let us pray. Our most gracious, loving Heavenly Father in heaven, thank you for giving it another day to worship you and praise you, Lord. I come at each and every people who are watching this, Father. Touch every people, touch every people and heal every people who are struggling in their life. Bless our principal, our boss, our faculty and non-faculty members. Protect them under your mighty shield. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.